We're expecting to hear the results of Wisconsin's spring election and presidential primary this afternoon, nearly one week after the polls closed. Voters still went to the polls last Tuesday despite public health concerns, protests, and legal battles that stretched all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. One week ago today, Governor Evers tried to move the election back to June, but that executive order was overturned by the state Supreme Court. And just hours later, the U.S. Supreme Court reversed a decision that would have allowed absentee ballots to be accepted if they were postmarked through today. While we expect to get those election results later today, we're still waiting to see how going to the polls is impacting voters' health. Keely Arthur is live at the City County Building with what voters should know. Hi, Keely. Hi, everyone. Hi, Josh. So uh, last week, we know that a U.S. Circuit Court judge ruled that the election results could not be posted until after 4 p.m. today because that's the deadline for absentee ballots to come into local municipalities. This is just a way to hopefully ensure that the most votes are counted. Of course, a lot of eyes were on Wisconsin last week. Last Tuesday, the state government ultimately decided to hold the election despite concerns of COVID-19. Many people requested those mail-in ballots, but about 10,000 of those people didn't get the ballots, and that's according to the Wisconsin Elections Commission, forcing them to either sit the vote out or potentially risk their health by going in person to the polls. Now, I spoke with Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald yesterday, and he said he's still waiting to hear how the people who were voting in person or working the polls are feeling now. The public health will will look at seeing whether the the numbers changed and, and who. I mean, we do have lists. Each community has lists of who worked that day. Of course, the National Guard. You know, we had 260 National Guard members deployed, all of them putting themselves at risk. So, uh, you know, it'll be relatively easy to follow up in, in, on that side. But you know, the voters are also the ones who got exposed as well. So. Um, you know, I'm sure that data will come out soon and, and public health is tracking that. So as Josh kind of mentioned, some big races on the ballot, the Democratic presidential primary, although we know Joe Biden is now the presumptive nominee, the Wisconsin Supreme Court race, the Milwaukee mayoral race, and then also locally some races, including the Middleton mayoral race. Uh, some spots for Dane County Board Supervisors still need to be filled as well. And speaking with Dane County Clerk Scott McDonald, he says that we could start to get results as early as 4.30 today, but it's really going to vary um, from municipality to municipality. So odds are it'll probably be more in the evening and then later in the night. We will, of course, have all the results on our broadcast and up on our website, channel3000.com. Keely Arthur, live from a very windy downtown Madison. Keely, thank you. Thank you, Keely.